All right, let's take a break and see something really cool, really awesome, and really unique. So I saw this meme down here, and I thought it was a joke until I came along this video. And I want you to name this instrument. And I want you to ask, is it real? My name is Colin. I'm a curator at MIM, and this is the Octobase. The Octobase was invented in 1850 by the famous French violin maker Jean-Baptiste Villon. The intent was to create an instrument that would add a low-end rumble to any large orchestra. Villon originally made three of these instruments, two of which still exist. There also exist two playable replicas, of which Mim has one. So in order to play an instrument this size, the player just simply cannot use the normal technique so it has to be built specially. The player stands on a platform and then pulls on levers, which are connected to a mechanism that pulls down the string on a fret to change the pitch of the string. Needless to say, nothing happens quickly on this instrument. Here we have the Octobase bow. This is specially made for the Octobase. It's quite a bit larger and shorter than a normal bass bow. Um, it's made in the French style, which you would normally hold like so, but in this case it's so big and heavy all I can do is hold on. The bow is made with a hardwood stick, an ebony frog, and leather grips and lots of horsehair. The instrument is tuned two octaves below a cello. The lowest C note on it is at 16 hertz, which means it is actually below the frequency that humans can actually hear. It's wonderful for demonstrating how sound waves work and how a string vibrates. These strings are so large and so massive that the vibrations are slow enough for us to actually see them, which is a really unusual opportunity and is a great visual for people so they can understand what's happening when we drag the bow across the strings. Thanks for watching. You can see the octobass here at the Musical Instrument Museum.